Hello and welcome to Learn Penang Hokkien. My name is Timothy and you're watching this series of videos created to help expats, foreigners, tourists as well as non penang Hokkien speaking Malaysians get to know our language. We are now in our sixth video in the series. And before I get started with today's lesson, I want to just do a quick recap of what we have covered so far. If you are watching this video for the first time and you have never watched the series before, I would strongly recommend that you start with the first lesson where I dealt with intonation. Just go to the video that says introduction and there I will teach you intonation for Penang Hokkien. You will learn how to put the words uh, in the tones in the set of a rhythm that goes ah, 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 ah. So that was in uh, lesson one. In lesson two, we learn pronouns. We learn what is I, you, we, and so on, such as wa, lu, i, Walang, Wang, Lan, Lan Lang, Lu, Lu Lang, Yi Lang, and so on. In lesson three, we learn numbers, Jit No Sa Si Go La Chit Pe Kao Chak, and so on. So we learn lots of numbers in lesson three. In lesson four, we learn Ton Sante. We learn how to how the tones change when words are put together, such as ang, ang sa, lam, lam po, and so on. Then, in lesson 5, we learn demonstratives. We learn how to say this, this one, one, that, that one, and also one. <clears throat> and in the lesson on demonstratives, we learn uh, this is Chile, this one is Chile, one is Chile, and then that is Hele, that one is Hele. Okay, today's lesson is called classifiers. So, classifiers expands on what we learned in the previous lesson on demonstratives. So, from demonstratives, we learn how to say this one. That one and one. When we say one, it is Chile. And I mentioned in passing, Chile has the word Chi, which is the number one, which we learned in the lesson on numbers. And Le, Le is the general classifier. So we learn one classifier in the previous lesson, which is the general classifier, and that one is lay. So, we use the lay, the general classifier, with a number, chi, and it becomes chi lay. Okay? The chi will sandy to chi. So, it becomes chi lay. So, chi lay is one. Two is no lay. Three is sa lay. Four is si lay. And so on. So, this is how we number items. And today we learn what is how to call things in Penang Hokkien. Things in Penang Hokkien are called mikia. So, if you are looking at a thing, you can ask Hele si hami mikia lai. Hele si hami mikia lai. What is that thing? Chile si hami mikia lai. What is this thing? Or you can also say Chile se hami mikia. Or even shorter, Chile se hami. Chile se hami lai. All these are more or less the same. What is this? Hele se hami lai. Hele se hami mikia lai. Hele se hami mikia. So, mikia is thing. And when you use thing, you need to put a classifier, and that would be the general classifier, le. So, Chile mikia, one thing. No le mikia, two things. Sa le mi kia, three things. In Penang Hokkien, in Malay, and many Asian languages, we use classifiers very, very often. More often than in English. In English, sometimes classifiers appear, such as a piece of bread. Okay? A piece of bread, a, a bucket of water, a bottle of milk, 
So, a uh, something of something where we classify according to uh, the receptacle or uh, how it is like. But in, in Penang Hokkien, almost everything is classified. There is a small group of things that we don't put classifier and we learned that uh, in our earlier lesson on numbers, time is not classified. So, you can say one hour is chitiam cheng, two hours no tiam cheng, chijit one day, one day chijit, two days no jit, three days sa jit, and so on. Week is not classified, so uh, chile pai, no le pai, sa le pai, one week, two week, three weeks. Man is not classified. All anything associated with time is not classified. So, chigwe is one month, no gwe two months, sa gwe three months. Year is not classified. So, chini, no ni, sa ni, uh, one year, two year, three years. And then, uh, words used for measuring things are not classified. So, chikilo, no kilo, sa kilo, one kilogram, two kilograms, three kilograms. Words to measure distance are not classified. Chichun, no chun, sa chun, one inch, two inch, three inches. And then, chichio, no chio, sa chio, one foot, two feet, three feet. Chiba, no ba, sa ba, one yard, two yards, three yards. And then, uh, in the metric system, chimeter, no meter, sa meter. GKM, no KM, sa KM. So, words for measuring and words for time are not classified. But the rest of the things, you need to learn the classification of items because they appear regularly when you need to use it to itemize things and to use it with demonstratives. Uh, in our lesson on demonstratives, we learned that this one is, this one is, so, the lay is also the classifier. Chilei, this one. Uh, this one. One itself is chilei. So, as I've mentioned, lay is the general classifier. But, there are classifiers for almost every everything. And so, it is necessary for you to learn them one by one and get accustomed to using them or at the very least, learn to identify or understand them when they are used in like in Penang Hokkien. And a good place for you to gain exposure in speaking and listening to Penang Hokkien is at the markets. In Penang, there are many, many markets. Some of them are quite large markets. And I would encourage you, if you are staying in Penang or passing through Penang, to stop by our markets. Even if you are unable to speak Penang Hokkien, at the very least, listen to the hawkers speaking to the buyers, listen to the words they are using, and that may help you pick up some words which you have learned from these lessons. Myself and my wife, we usually go to the Jelutong Market, which is one of the largest markets in Georgetown. We will go there in the morning. The market is in session in the morning part of the day, so that's when you can go. Apart from the Jelutong Market, other major markets in Penang, in Georgetown area, includes the Charasta Market, which is right in the heart of Georgetown, the Campbell Street Market, which is slightly smaller than the Charasta Market, and the Pulau Tikus Market, which is in the suburb of Pulau Tikus. So, those four are the main markets in the Georgetown area of Penang. And you, if you happen to be staying in Penang, uh, that's a good place for you to gain, gain some exposure to how Penang Hokkien is spoken. Now, we have learned the general classifier, lay. So, it is used in uh, numbering, like chile. No le, sa le. One item, two items, three items. So, when, when the hawker asks you, how many do you want? Lu bui kui le. 
All these words we learned before. Lu bui gui le. You want how many? You can say wa bui no le. I want two. If you want to say I want two things, I want two things. Then you say wa bui no le mi kia. Mi kia. We just learned just now is thing. I want two things. Wa bui no le mi kia. Notice that the le has. Has sante has changed its tone from le to le. So wa bui no le mi kia, or I just want to wa bui no le, wa bui no le, and wa bui no le mi kia. So that le is used for general classification of things, and is used for things when you are uncertain. Chile mi kia se hami lai. What is this thing? Chile se so and so. Okay. Now you are at the market and you are going to see a lot of stuff, particularly groceries. You are going to see vegetables. Vegetables in Penang Hokkien we have uh, learned in passing is called chai. Chai is veg vegetables. So there's going to be a lot of different types of vegetables, and I might do a video simply to teach you on that. Uh, on the different names of vegetables, but right now we are going to learn how to use vegetable with a classifier. The classifier for vegetable is chang. The word chang itself means tree or plant, but it's also used as a classifier. So, uh, when it's used with a chik, uh, classifier, you can say chang means one. So one what one. The antecedent or the assumed item is the vegetable. So, if if you want to buy vegetables from the hawker at the market, and the hawker asks you, "Kui chang," means how many? He doesn't say "kui le" anymore. He says "kui chang" because the assumption is you are talking about the vegetables, and the classifier for the vegetable is "chang." So he will ask you, "Kui chang," how many? And then you will say. Chang one only, ah uh, no chang two, two, but you can put the classifier as part of the sentence with the word vegetables and it becomes, chang chai. Chichang chai means one vegetable, no chang chai means two vegetables. Okay, sa chang chai means three vegetables. So, leafy vegetables you would use. Chang as the classifier, but that's not all. You cannot use chang for all vegetables. It depends on the type of vegetables you are looking at. If the vegetable is roundish and solid, then you need to use the classifier for things that are roundish and solid. For example, the tomato. The tomato in Uh, in Penang Hokkien and in Penang in general, you will still say tomato, even though the actual Hokkien word for tomato is ang mo kio, ang mo kio. Yeah, it sounds the same as the township in Singapore, ang mo kio. But ang mo kio, which translates literally as Westerners eggplant, Westerners aubergine, or Westerners brinjal is ang mo kio. So ang mo kio is the Hokkien name for the tomato. But you don't hear it used commonly in Penang. They will still say tomato. So for tomato, you can't say chichang tomato. You have to say chiliap tomato. So something that is roundish and solid, you use liap liap. So you are looking at tomatoes and you want to buy. Now the the hawker will ask you, "Kui liap? How many?" So in English, everything is how many, but in Penang Hokkien, it has to include the the classifier according to what is being spoken about. So the topic is not on tomato. So now it's kui liap. Just now, leafy vegetables is kui chang. If it's just things, it's kui le. How many? How many? How many? All this. Translates back into English as how many, but one is, kui le is for things, kui chang is for leafy vegetables, and kui liap is for roundish things. So roundish things can be tomatoes. So, kui liap tomato, 
how many tomatoes? Chiliak tomato, one tomato. Chak liak tomato, ten tomatoes. And apart from tomatoes, anything else that you can think of that is roundish and solid, you can use this liak. They include kam, kam is orange. Chiliak kam, one orange. No liak kam, two oranges. Apple is roundish and solid. So, apple is called pinko. Pinko. So, chiliak pinko, no liak pinko, and so on. What else is roundish and solid? Potato is roundish and solid. Potato is called kanang chu. Kanang chu. So, chiliak kanang chu, one potato. And then, this potato is chiliak kanang chu. So remember what we learned in demonstrative. So chili, instead of chili, remember we learned chili. Now it's chili. So this vegetable is chichang chai, chichang chai. One vegetable is chichang chai. This vegetable is chichang chai. That vegetable is hechang chai. So always remember what we learned in the previous lesson because it's going to be applied layer by layer into subsequent lessons. No. Chiliak tomato and chiliak tomato. The sound is almost the same. It's just a slight change in the tone that will change something that says this into one. Ah, okay. The next thing that we want to learn is longish things. Longish things has its own classifier. The classifier is tiao, tiao. So something that is longish, uh, that is in the vegetable family that we use tiao can include the cucumber. The cucumber is not roundish but longish. So because the cucumber is longish, we use tiao. Cucumber is called timun, timun. So chitiao timun. Chitiao timun is this cucumber. Chitiao timun, this cucumber. Chitiao timun is one cucumber. No tiao timun. What else is longish? The brinjal, also known as the aubergine or eggplant, is longish. So if the eggplant is longish, you say tiao. If the, the eggplant is roundish, you use liap. So, so if you are looking at roundish eggplants, then you would say you call them liap. Chiliap, no liap, sa liap. Chiliap is this one. Chiliap is one. Okay? But if it's the longish aubergine, then you use tiao. Tiao is also used for any longish thing such as chitiao sua, one string. Chitiao sua, this string. And road. Road is also used with tiao. Chitiao lo, one road. Chitiao lo. This road, okay. So tiao is used for longish thing. The next one is how we go to animals. The first one is boy. The word boy itself means tail, and it's used for animals in the fish family, including fish itself. Fish is called hu. So one fish is chiboi hu. Chiboi hu is one fish. This fish is chiboi hu. Chiboi hu, and you are buying fish. The hawker will ask you, "How many do you want?" He will say, "Kui boy, kui boy," and then you will say, "Tao ke chiboi, tao ke chiboi." One boss, so one boss, tao ke chiboi. So we learn tao ke also in our previous lesson, or you can say tao ke so chiboi, tao ke so no boy. Ah, tao ke so is the lady boss. So boy is used for fish. So you can use it for prawns also. Chiboi hair, no boy hair, sa boy hair. So hair is prawns. Next is the word jia. Jia is used for animals, particularly for animals with legs. But you can also use it with fish. So just now we just learned chiboi hu. You can also say chichia hu, chichia hu. And chiboi hu both means one fish. Chicha hu, chiboi hu, both is acceptable to use in Penang Hokkien. And other things that you can use jia is you have to have the whole animal. You cannot be a meat. 
It cannot be uh, pork or mutton or beef that is not used with chia animal. It has to be the whole animal, such as chichia tu one pig, chichia tu is this pig, chichia gu one cow, chichia gu this cow, chichia yao one goat, chichia yao this goat, and everything else chichia gu one tortoise. Chia go this tortoise. So chia is to be used with whole animal. Next one is I'm looking at a list. I'm looking at a list of classifiers so that I do not uh, overlook anyone to teach you. So the next one is te. The word te is piece. So a piece of something you use the classifier te. So chite ba meat. Meat is called ba. So chite ba is one piece of meat. Chite ba, this piece of meat. Ah, uh, you can look at the meat and you can say chite ba hamilai. What is this piece of meat? And then the hawker will say chite ba si gu ba lai. Chite ba si gu ba lai. Gu is cow. Gu ba is beef and gu ba. So. This piece of meat is ah. Uh, this piece of meat is beef. Chite ba si gu ba lai. Chite ba si yao ba lai. This piece of meat is mutton. And then the next one is ah. Uh, okay, before we go to the next one, some other example with te, like ah uh, chite pia one piece of biscuit. Chite loti one piece of bread. So one piece can be uh, meat. It can be a uh, piece of a slice of bread, chite loti, or a piece of biscuit, chite pia. Next is things that are put in receptacles, such as rice. You can put on a plate. A plate of rice is chipua. Chipua pua is plate. So chipua, and then rice is pui. So a plate of rice is chipua pui, chipua pui, a plate of rice, chipua pui, this plate of rice, chipua pui, this plate of rice, he pua pui, that plate of rice, no pua pui, two plates of rice, and then water, water can be in a glass. So the glass or cup is. Ao, so chi ao, chi ao is one cup. One cup of what? One cup of water. Water is chui. So chi ao chui, chi ao chui, one glass of water. Chi ao chui, this glass of water. Chi ao kopi, this cup of coffee. So at the moment we use the word ao to mean either a cup. As well as a glass, the word for glass is gelai. Yeah, it comes probably from from either English or from Malay. So gelai is a glass. So a glass of water, cigelai cuy, cigelai ecuy. We will learn the the possessive particle e in our next lesson. But here I will give you a glimpse. Cigelai ecuy, cigelai Yeah, chigelai e chui. So e is also used to mean of the, of the. Chi, one cup of the water, something like that. And finally, the final classifier that you will learn in this basic lesson is kian. Kian is the classifier for people. So people is lang. We have learned before lang in the lesson on pronouns. So lang is people. One person is. Chicken lang, chicken lang. <coughs> Two persons, no chicken lang. This person is chicken lang, chicken lang. Okay. Ah, uh, so chicken is ah uh, the classifier for people. But these are all the classifiers which I would like you to know for now. There are some more, but they are less commonly used. These are the ones which you need to uh, learn first to get used to using classifiers. So that concludes this part of the lesson. 
In the next part, we'll look into why sometimes the, the classifier is hyphenated and sometimes it is not. Okay, we'll look into that in the next part of this video. See ya! Hello and welcome back to Learn Penang Hokkien. We are now in the lesson on classifiers. In this part, I want to show you how classifiers are written in sentences in Penang Hokkien. We have learned like jile is one. But uh, one item is jile mikia. I want you to see carefully when it's jile as in one, it's written as two separate words. However, when you write as jile mikia, then the classifier will be hyphenated with the the this or that uh, or one like jile mikia one item. You will see the one is hyphenated to the classifier, followed by the word mikia. If you do not put the the antecedent the word mikia, then it is two separate words. So if you say this item, this thing is chile mikia, chile mikia, see it's also hyphenated. That item or that thing is hele mikia, it is also hyphenated hele mikia. Similarly, with the classifiers that we have learned, uh, chai, chichang chai, this vegetable. That vegetable is he chang chai. You will see that it is always hyphenated to this or to the number. Chi chang chai is one vegetable. He chang chai is that vegetable. Chi boi hu is this fish. He boi hu is that fish. And how many fish is kui boi hu? See? The classifier is still hyphenated to the word in front of it. However, if you do not, you drop the word, uh, the the antecedent as in the word fish, then it becomes kui boi. Kui boi is two separate words without hyphen. When you put the antecedent in, then you hyphenate. So if you put the word fish in, then you hyphenate. If you assume the word fish, then you do not hyphenate and you write as two separate words. And this is how it's written. And once you are accustomed to it, you can read it very quickly and you will understand what you are talking about. So, Chichia Kao is one dog. Chichia Kao is this dog. Kui Chia is how many? And you can say Kui Chia Kao, how many dogs? Chichia Gu. One cow. Kui chia gu, how many cow? Go chia gu, five cows. Uh, boy, sa boy he, sa boy he, you see it's hyphenated. Kui boy, how many? Sa boy, it's not hyphenated. So that is how you would write the classifier in conjunction with demonstratives and with numbers. So that concludes our lesson on classifiers. In the next part of this video, we'll be doing some exercises to help you get more familiar with classifiers. Hello and welcome back to Learn Penang Hokkien and we are still in the lesson on classifiers. Now we go to exercises. In this exercise, I'm going to give you an item and I need you to select from all the classifiers that you have learned which particular classifier is appropriate for it. Okay, you need to search uh, among the classifiers that we have learned which one is appropriate for it. The first one is hair. Hair is prawn. Which classifier is appropriate for hair? And the answer is boy, boy. So you would use chip boy hair one prawn, kui boy hair how many prawns, he boy hair that prawn, chip boy hair this prawn. 
The next one is banana. Banana is called kinchio. So, which classifier would you use for kinchio? The answer is tiao. Tiao. So, jitiao kinchio, one banana. Jitiao kinchio, this banana. He tiao kinchio, that banana. Kui tiao kinchio, how many bananas? The next one is sinsang. Sinsang means teacher. Teacher. Which is the classifier for teacher? And the classifier is kian. Kian. So, jikian sinsang. Jikian sinsang. No kian sinsang. Jikian sinsang. This teacher. Kui kian sinsang. How many teachers? The next one is Papaya. Papaya is bokwa. Bokwa. So, what's the classifier for bokwa? And the answer is liap. Chiliap bokwa, one papaya. No liap bokwa, two papayas. Chiliap bokwa, this papaya. He liap bokwa, that papaya. Kui liap bokwa, how many papayas? The next one is te. Te is t. So, how do you put a classifier for te? The answer is ao cup. Chi ao te, one cup of tea. Chi ao te, this cup of tea. Hek ao te, that cup of tea. Kui ao te, how many cups of tea? The next one is Chang. Chang is spring onion. Spring onion is called Chang. So, what's the classifier for it? It's Chang. Chang is the classifier for Chang. So, Chi Chang Chang, one spring onion. Chi Chang Chang, this spring onion. He Chang Chang, that spring onion. Kui Chang Chang, how many spring onions? The next item is kue. Kue is nyonya pastry or local pastry. We call it kue. So, what's the classifier for kue? It's piece as in te. Chite kue, one piece of kue. No te kue, two pieces of kue. Chite kue, this piece of kue. He te kue, that piece of kue. Kui te kue, how many pieces of kue? The next one is cow. Cow is dog. So, what's the classifier for dog? And the answer is jia. Chi jia kao, this dog. Chi jia kao, one dog. He jia kao, that dog. Kui jia kao, how many dogs? And the last one is noodle. Noodle is called mi. Mi. What's the classifier for noodle? And the answer is Pua plate. A plate of noodle. Chi pua mi. No pua mi. Two plates of noodles. Chi pua mi. This plate of noodle. He pua mi. That plate of noodle. And Kui pua mi. How many plates of noodle? So that concludes our lesson on classifier. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, please take a moment to give this video a like and subscribe to the Learn Penang Hokkien YouTube channel for more lessons on Penang Hokkien. Also, hit the notification bell so that I can keep you notified every time I upload a new video. Until I see you again, I wish you thanks for watching. Thank you.